So the problem with the Muslims is they copy names from the Jews, from the Christians, but they are not connected with them. They are disconnected. Abraham, it's not Abraham, it's Avraham or Avra, Avra, the one who crossed the river or the one who crossed to the other side. Why Abraham was called that name? Because he crossed the other side or he crossed to the other side and he left the pagan belief. He left his people who believe as pagan, which means even his name is not really a real name. As we think, it's an act. Do you remember before we mentioned that uh, uh, <clears throat> well, how we know that he's a Muslim? Okay, somebody is saying to me, a Muslim on a call. Let us see. We will give him a chance. Okay. Yeah, the, the picture he have in his Skype look funny. Doesn't sound like someone serious. But we will give him a chance. Answer me, Mr. Uh, okay, let's call him. Hello. Yes, my friend. You are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Supposed you are a Muslim, yes. right? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm go a ahead. Muslim, yes. Go ahead. Who is uh, so? Uh, what, the topic yeah, is about what? who is uh, who is the one who Allah wanted to slaughter, uh, sacrifice. Yes. Uh, sacrifice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. First of all, <laughs> you uh, you gave us the um, that quote from the Quran. That verse that you gave, and you took it completely out of context. Which one? The one that you gave about the the and we made him uh, sacrifice. Five day now who uh uh hmm. Okay, you speak Arabic. Okay. What about it? And you took it completely out of context. Why I took and it you out. didn't talk about the other verse that said, Wakala inni dahibun ila rabbi sayahdeen. Rabbi Hibli mina salihin fabasharnahu bigulamin halim. Okay. So and we gave him the good news of a forbearing son. Thank you. Who's that forbearing son? Can you tell me who, who? it is? Who? You tell me. No, you, you tell me. Because well, I, mean, I don't know. You see, no, you see you are, you, you, okay, you speak Arabic. That's wonderful. Yeah. Here we go. This is this is Tafsir al Qurtabi. Can you read for me in the screen? Let me see. And we ransomed him with a great sacrifice. No, read in the screen. And it's in Arabic. And you no, translate. Not, you said. Okay. And you translate, please. And you and you translate. And you translate. Go ahead. Okay, says, this is Tafsir what Tabari? This is Al Qurtubi. This is Al Qurtubi. Faqala Aksarahum. Read carefully, please. From here. Faqala Aksarahum. Translate from there. What is ah okay? Faqala Aksarahum as Zabih is Haq. Translate. Translate. <laughs> and most of them said most the sacrifice is Isaac. Okay, okay? Who, who is most of them? Shit. Okay, okay most, listen, of is, most of them is shit. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Did you say most of them is shit? First of all, first. No, no, no. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait. Uh. That doesn't mean that most. Now you have to remember. I'm remembering my friend. I remember you just said the word shit. I'm asking you. On. I'm asking you. Most of them, they say it is Isaac. Who is most of them? Who are they? The the scholars. Okay, but, but you look, just told. Hold on. But you just told the people here that I talk the word and the meaning out of context. Blah 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 blah. But when all the no, 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 the majority, listen, listen, hold on, listen, listen, the no, majority. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Mm. What I meant, what I meant mm. is that you only took one tafsir, which is no, I did not. No, I did not. So let, no, no, I did not. Read no, I did not. Tafsir Ibn 
Okay. okay. No, I do not. I do not. Even Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, he could not hesitate to mention that this is his mention exactly. And but Ibn Kathir, he don't agree with it. That's all. But Ibn Kathir is just a guy who came six hundred years after. We have here it says that the one who agree with this is the following names. Look how big the names. Who is Ibn Kathir? Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of your prophet, and the one who became a caliphate, and the Umar ibn Khattab, and Abu Huraira. So who is Ibn Kathir? Do Ibn Kathir count next to those names? Well, of, like, of course not. But but what I'm saying is that Ibn Kathir mm. is one of, is one of the top scholars. No, of he's not. In no, he's not. You just told me. You just told he me. Is, no, 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 no. You just told me he don't count next to them. You just told me they don't, he don't count next to them. I mentioned to you Ibn that, Abbas. I mentioned to you Ibn Abu Talib. I mentioned to you Umar Khattab. Ibn Mas Ibn Mas'ud. Okay, let me ask you, Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud or Ibn Kathir? Okay, that's of course Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Okay, so Ibn Kathir tell then, Ibn Kathir, he go back to school. So Ibn Kathir, so, Ibn, so you cannot, you just agree, you just agree that Ibn Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is a way higher, of course. So Ibn Kathir is an idiot compared to Allah. So why you are taking now Ibn Kathir against your prophet, against your Ibn Abbas, against Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of your prophet, and the caliphate, and against the caliphate Umar, and even Abu Huraira. How come Ibn Kathir now the one you like? You dump all of those which are the most high and you take the most law between them. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look, look. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'll tell, tell you something. something. Tell okay? me something. Right. I, I concede in that point, okay? Mm -hmm. There's no problem in that, okay? I was wrong in that point. But what I'm saying is that using common sense, who's the older son of them? Thank you. Who's the oldest one? Is it Ishmael or thank Isaac? You. Okay, thank you. Allah, he blessed who of them? Which one? Which one was blessed Ishmael, by Ishmael? Ishmael, because when when did it, okay. when did Abraham? Okay, hold on. Abraham hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Made his supplication. My my friend. Okay, my friend. Hold was on. Was it after Ishmael was born? Okay. Or hold not? On, hold on, hold on. Okay. Birth? All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. When uh, when it says here, you, you are the one who mentioned to me this verse. It says, and we gave him a glad tiding of a uh, uh, boy, forbearing boy. Correct. Okay. Yes. All right. Who is this boy? Ishmael. And what about Isaac? It's Ish Ish Isaac came after Ishmael. Isaac came after Ishmael. Okay. Yes. Okay. But is it? Because is it? Ishmael but but is okay. Older but but but, but did God? But did God told Abraham you will have Ishmael? Who told him you will have Isaac? When did he tell him you will have Isaac? Let us go. When did he say an exact okay, name? Is that, is that real? Which one Allah he gave as a gift to, to Abraham? I, uh, Ishmael or Isaac? Ishmael. Let us see the Quran. Okay. And I'm glad that you speak Arabic. And that will solve a lot of problem. Here we go. Read for me. Chapter 6, verse number 48. 84, sorry. Well, uh, well, and we bestowed upon him Ishaq, mm. Isaac, mm. and Yaqub, Jacob. Mm. Mm. Each of them we guided, mm. and before him, okay, where, we is, guided where, is, where is Ishmael? You, you are the one who said to me that he should mention the uh, there's no Isaac, you should mention first Ishmael. Where is Ishmael? This is not related to his supplication. No, though. no, no, no. Where is when Ishmael? Why Allah did not say? Wait, 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 why Allah? Okay. okay, Allah He gave as a gift to to Abraham. Well, all all the children are gift of God anyway. You, my children, your children too, right? So, uh, uh, but your God is saying, and we bestowed upon him, and he named two names, correct? And then he jumped to talk about names have nothing to do with this and Noah and uh, David. I mean, uh, I look, I look at this madness here. How David, how Noah became between Jacob and David. Do you see there's something wrong here? And how Job, he became between Solomon and Yusuf. Obviously, the one who is making those names up or putting them together, they don't, they don't match. They have nothing to do with each other. 
nothing to do with each other. Same time, if we go in different verse in the Quran, it says, uh, chapter 11, verse number 71. You said to me that when Allah, he told Abraham, we are going to give you a son. It is Ishmael. You said that. I ask you, who is this one, the, the Ghulam and the Halim? You said to me, this is Ishmael. Ishmael. Okay, read the verse. And his wife was standing and she laughed, but we gave her. Don't say the word shit again. That, that no, 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 wait, 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 wait. This happened after Ishmael came. My friend, the verse here, the Quran is so clear. You, you are the one who said that Allah, he gave a glad news, a tidy news, okay? So why this is a, the guy already have a son? The, the the Abraham already have a son. So what this is in you is about why it's a big deal. As you see, Allah He bestowed a gift on Abraham, and that is named as Isaac, and after him Jacob. Read it. Yeah, mm. at the same time, I want to to uh, uh, to to remember that here it says that there's a miracle happen. She said, like in she's amazed how I can mm -hmm. have uh, you know I'm an old woman. So this is the gift of God. The gift of God is a miracle because she's an old woman. Ishmael he was not born from an old woman. This is why actually Abraham because he gave up that his what his wife she is very old. She cannot have kids, so. Ishmael was a gift from God Not as you we prove now it was Isaac Isaac is the gift of God for he is having miraculous birth. This is why it was a glad like a big news So the first verse you mentioned is connected to this verse as you say mm -hmm. Well well, I guess I was wrong. All right, that's wonderful, my friend. Yeah. All right. Where are you from, my friend? Do you like to say where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm from the U.S., but I'm originally Egyptian, so. Egyptian, okay. You know what? I'm going to change the topic for you. Forget. Okay, so now I prove that I'm right, and I, I, I respect you, by the way, for saying that you were wrong. I respect that in this person, by the way, because usually... Some arrogant people they like they go stubborn. I mean, even if he knew, you know, if he knew that he is wrong, he go like, no, no, I'm not wrong. This person, I can tell, I, I have to respect him for, for for admitting that he's wrong. And nothing wrong with with being wrong. Yeah, I when got you find you. out, yeah. you say, okay, I was wrong. So let, let me ask you, my friend, you as a person who is speaking Arabic, a Muslim, and I am a Christian. How you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Well, because like the like the problem, the the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> that's what I was taught basically, growing up. I understand, my friend. I'm just asking you now. You are a Muslim already, and you are calling me, and you I you have. Truly a, I truly believe that he I, is I a prophet. Tell, I, I can tell. I can tell you have some knowledge too, which means you studied, you learn. You are not just uh, like you know. You learn. So, based on what you learn, how you convince yourself that Muhammad is a prophet? Can you use what? You, how you convince yourself to convince me that Muhammad is a prophet? Like you can't. You can't. Like what is the benefit? Basic, so basically, look, I will go. I, I will use your logic right now. Mm. It's a scam, it's a lie. He's mm. a false prophet, okay? But for what, okay? Let's show you from the Quran, okay? What is the benefit of doing such a thing? I mean, the Thank guy you. wasn't living in a palace, the guy wasn't doing all I will use stuff. your logic. What the benefit? Here we go. And what plus, what like, is the benefit, of, my friend? I don't know what your name. What, what's, what's your name? He has a lot. Of, uh, what, what I shall call you, my friend? What's your name? Uh, I don't want to say my so name. Me because name, of name. Well, my name is no. Okay, Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, okay. Listen, Muhammad. 
A verse in the front of us, chapter 33, verse number 50. And you speak Arabic very well. It says, any yeah. believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet, yes, thank you. What does this have to do with God? Why God in the seven galaxies be, be find, behind the seven rivers and the seven seas, he is worrying, he go to his office and he writes saying, any woman, she want to give herself to the prophet so the prophet, he can have sex with her. What does this have to do with God? You just say to me, if Muhammad is a scam, what is the benefit? What does this have to do with God? What does this had what does this have to do with Islam? Okay, Islam is about worshiping one God, praying to God, blah 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 blah. Okay, but what does this have to do with God? But any woman she can give herself to the Prophet. What that will do exactly but, to Allah? Yeah, well, because there is like waqt, uh, waqt al nuzul. The reason why this verse came down, mm -hmm. there are reasons for these verses that they came down. There are certain events that happen. Okay, tell me the reason. You, 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 you see, you are trying to use the logic. God saying to Muhammad, any woman she want to offer herself, and this is a privilege only to thee. Okay, what that have to do with Islam and Allah? Women coming in the door of Muhammad. Muhammad, take me to your bed. What does this have to do with God? Well, well, well uh, as I said, like there, there is, there are reasons. My friend, tell me the reasons. What does this have to do with God? I'm asking you about the reason. I'm not ignoring the reason. I want the reason. Muhammad is a prophet. He have already. But okay, if you know the reason, okay, okay, okay. I, like, I don't know the reason by heart. I know the reason. It's a fraud, as you said from the beginning. You said. How you say that Muhammad? I want to go. You said to me, I want to go with your logic. You said that Muhammad is a scam. So what is the reason? He's getting the benefit. You see, all cult leaders they share two things: they want to take your money and they want to sleep with your wife. Let me ask you: Is it true that in the interpretation of the Muslim books, and you are a Muslim and you speak Arabic, which is wonderful, it says that if the Prophet he want his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her. Well, I don't, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. I haven't read that one anywhere. Okay, let me I'm not let, sure let me find it for you. I'm taking advantage of having you as a person uh, speak speak uh, Arabic, because if I say that to somebody he don't speak Arabic, you know, we will have a problem. All right. Let us find the reference. <clears throat> and I will I will find an authentic uh, website not like a website maybe made by some uh, people all right this is the chapter of Al-Ahzab I will put it for you on the screen okay. and I want you to read with me carefully please this is I think you know the website very well Quran KSU KSU dot edu sa saudi arabia i think you are familiar with the website right yeah i know this website is right. the, it's the most trusted one when you want to look for tafsir that's wonderful okay and this is tafsir al qurtubi let us go down and as long as you speak arabic that's really wonderful you will find this The privilege of the Prophet, they are counting the privilege of the Prophet. The number one is the best of the booty. Does it say that or I'm lying? Safiyul Magna. Yeah. Okay, the best yeah. of the booty. Number two, Al Istibdadu bi khums al khums al khums. He will have inc all inc inclusive. The fifth of the booty. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. All right, thank you. Then they continue and then they say Arabia. To increase more than four wives, correct? Mm -hmm. Which means he do not need to get married. The woman, she said, take me. She's his. Okay. Number six, to have sex with the women without her perm the permission of her parents. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. This is a privilege only for Muhammad. It's all about sex. Then number seven, and nikah without paying, he do sleep with women without paying them. Number eight, he can have sex even when he's around the Kaaba. Number nine, 
he can't take an oath and his oath in front of his wives and he is not going to be uh, like it's okay for him to take a false oath for his wives number 10 okay. and i want you please to translate was was إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها وحل له نكاحها. Translate please. Yeah, if, if he puts his eyes on a woman, uh, her husband has to divorce her and he can marry her to take her. Okay, okay I look. What is the authenticity? My friend, this is your books. I mean, you are you're asking. Yeah, I know. This is Ibn al-Arabi. This is not a Christian prince. This is not me and you. This is not Ibn Kathir. We are talking about big okay, names. Blah, blah. So, and it's, listen, listen. Did your prophet, he did practice that. This is about what? This is about the the the, the uh, Zayd and Zainab. His eyes fall into Zainab and he forced him to divorce her. This is what the guy is saying. He likes Zainab. The guy, he came to him, okay, take her father. Zayn, Zayd is the adopted son of Muhammad. So look at this. You said to me, what is the benefit? Okay, what he is doing this? He take the first, the the, uh, the fifth of every attack, which means if the Muslims attack an, a, a Christian village or a Jewish village, the fifth, Yeah, he takes the fifth of the booty. Yeah, thank you. The, not only that, the best of the booty. Not only, he will take the top. Safiul Maghanim. You know what Safiul Maghanim mean, right? The best. Like the biggest TV, the biggest car. Right? So what are you telling right. me? Obviously, he's a gang leader. And now, not only that, I mean, why a prophet of God? He see with my respect to your family, Mr. Muhammad, I'm not trying to insult. Or let us say me, so you don't be offended. Let us say I'm a Muslim and I'm married. And my wife, she walk in the front of the prophet. And then the prophet, he saw my wife. And now I have to divorce her so he can sleep with her. Be honest with me. Is that right to do? Yeah, that's... <sighs> Uh, like me, I, personally, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But what guarantees you that that might happen? You know, because at the end, if you look at it, he's a he's a prophet. What the prophet? Okay, see here. I go. So God see, has to keep him away from you know, away from maybe what? getting seduced by other people or he, stuff like he this. He seduced like, already. Look at this. He, a woman walk by. He wanna have her. I mean, the guy is already married. He have thirteen wives, and he have many sex slaves. So why he want to have a married woman? It's not enough what you have. He's not like a single guy. He cannot find a woman to marry him. And how in the world a woman she is married, she have a husband. Just because your eyes fall into her, you force the husband to divorce her so he can have her immediately. You know what wajaba means, right? It's a yeah. must. It's a must it's for a must. her husband to divorce her. If somebody tried to do that to you, with, with my respect to your family, are you going to let him do that to you? To be honest, no. Okay. So how you accept Muhammad doing that to you, to, to, to you know, to whatever people? This is first, not just. Secondly, Muhammad, he proved that he have no ethic. Number three, Muhammad, obviously, he have a benefit, money and sex from this religion. He's not serving God. He's serving himself. He made verses. Look what Aisha she said. Do you know what Aisha she said to him when he made those verses? She said, Inni ara rabbuka ya Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see okay. your God is uh, okay. doing whatever he can to please you. All right. So why 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 Allah is uh, what, Allah serving Muhammad sexual desire? Why? What does it have to do with God? Like you can tell, you know, she she felt jealous. Okay, no problem. Why. But my friend, is it is it right that there is God? The guy he have already many wives. He have many sex slaves. He receive uh, many women as gift, even from from rulers. Additional to the women, he kidnapped them from their husbands. So what this is about? Aisha, she is said clearly. Now she trying to put an excuse why she did that. I felt jealous. But the fact she did not feel jealous. She noticed. That his God, this guy, he wished to have this woman. Here we go, a verse come. This guy, he want to have a verse come. Which means, Muhammad, he subjugated God to his sexual desire. 
Do you believe that religion have an ethic will teach you to have sex with your daughter? And then, no, that's like that's just disgusting. But that do you did, did you hear Muslim saying how the Bible says that Lot he stepped with his daughters in the Bible? Have you ever heard this accusation by Muslims? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always like they, they always okay. tell me that uh, of course. I mean, right. brother, look at the read their books okay. and look at just. But you see, the Bible, the Bible things. doesn't say that God he says to uh, Lot or to his daughters go and have sex. This is what they did. It's like me now reporting a crime happened right now in Manchester. Somebody he took a knife and he started stabbing people. But this is not God saying that. The Bible reporting a story, and here you see the hypocrisy. Now. If I show you right now and you speak Arabic and I'm taking advantage yeah. of having you actually as my guest okay that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery are you going to leave Islam um well, look, I've o I've always had this problem hmm. because, like, they say that okay, if Muhammad, I always ask them if Muhammad can do these things, then why didn't God permit it to Jesus, Abraham, and all these other prophets? Why well, it's only him? So I already had this problem, but I don't. If you can prove it, then show me. Right. Show me then. I want to see it, but I want to see it from an authentic source because, sure, like, sure. there's no way you can marry. Your, I've never seen anyone do that who's a Muslim. Oh no! They, but, will, uh, but... they will count for you many names actually in the reference. There's many names. Uh, if we go to chapter uh, twenty-five, hold on. I will put it for you on screen. Give me a second. I'm just trying to open the same website we opened before. As long you are familiar with it, uh, look like. All right, I will build it for you. All right, this is we go here to chapter all right. This is the website you agree and you know it. It's very authentic, correct? The same website. Yeah. All right. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. You can see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Okay. Tafsir al Qurtubi. Let us read together. Because some of them, they say that I'm lying about translation. It says, Qawla Ta'ala. Nasaban wa sihra. An nasab wa sihra ma'niyani ya'minu kulli qurba, etc. Brother. Qala ibn al Arabi. An nasab wa ibara an khalti al ma'i bayna al dhakari wal untha ala wajhi al shara. فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين علمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا بنت أو بنت أم ولا أم بنت وما يحرم من الحلال لا يحرم من من الحرام. Translation. I will translate or you translate. Go ahead. Translate. You translate. Uh, okay. Will we'll show me Tafsir Ibn Kathir? Can no, you show me Tafsir Ibn Kathir? You, you, you said to me, show me, right? I'm showing you. It says. Okay, but sometimes but we have say, like, between say, the ulama, my, my we friend, have my friend. No, 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 hold on. Does it say that a person who have a daughter from adultery, he can have sex with the mother and the daughter? Oh, yes, yeah, from, yeah, from adult. Okay, but does it say too? Does it say? لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ لَهُ بِنْتٌ لَهُ According to the most authentic opinion. I don't know what happened to my mouse. It's not working. Hold on. I hope my mouse is not out of. Uh, I don't see it. What happened? 
my mouse is not working. It doesn't say there, let me fix it. it doesn't say there that this is according to the most opinion of scholars, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, Read with me. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, well, okay. I guess you can do that. All right. So, and this is according to who? To the most accurate opinion in the religion. Right? وَفِي أَصَحِّ قَوْلَيْنِ لِعُلَمَائِنَا وَأَصَحُّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ فِي الدِّينِ What kind of religion this religion is? You can have sex with your daughter. This is not Lot having sex with his daughter when he was drunk. And his daughter, they want to have kids because they, there's nobody around them. They were afraid that... Uh, uh, they will not have kids and they will nobody will they will not be surviving this yeah I, I understand but okay. also if, if if you look at the bottom it says no problem. like they, they have differences in this case but this is islam my friend islam all it is about about differences nobody agree about anything but as you see here it says the most accurate opinion your prophet he says لا يجتمع لا تجتمع أمتي على باطل. Do you agree? So if the majority yeah. agree upon something according to Muhammad, it must be true. And the majority agree. No. Yeah. So the majority of Islam according to Muhammad is the one who we should consider. And the one we should consider is the one saying you can have sex with your daughter. As long as she is a daughter from adultery. What they are saying there, the Quran, just to make it clear, Quran forbid anyone to have sex with his daughter. But if she is daughter from marriage, if she is not daughter from marriage, just what the verse is saying here, he can have sex with the mother and her daughter. And there is many stories about many who did have sex with their daughter uh, and they have sex with the, with the mother. Or even they have sex with the sister and they marry the wife. <coughs> Or even have sex with the, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's all, there's tons of stories. So what do you think about this, Muhammad? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, yeah, that's just disgusting, to be honest. I mean, I would, I definitely wouldn't do that. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, what kind of religion? You are disagreeing about we can have sex with our daughter or not. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is some, something should not be discussed, uh, uh, correct? Yeah, Me of and course. You, we I should mean, not discuss, we should not debate about it because this is, come on, this is really, this is really sick. So, the Muslim, they come to us, they say, the story of Lot of having sex with his daughter, which is not God saying to him, this is what the daughters did. If I now, if my daughter, I don't have, I'm not married, I don't have children, but let us say for the sake of argument, my daughter, she gave me drugs and she is, a, she and she did something with me when I am asleep. Can you judge me by that? No. I can't judge her. Did God say that to her? No. So here we have different story. Here we have religion teaching people that if you have a daughter, she is not a feminine marriage. You can have sex with her mother and your daughter, which means if a Muslim man, he have a, uh, he have a girlfriend, and his girlfriend she have she gave birth to a daughter he can sleep with the mother and the daughter in the same time uh, yeah you I, I definitely wouldn't do that I mean that's just that's sick I wouldn't do that I don't know who does this well, to this be is, honest this is okay well Muhammad when he had sex with Zainab and she is the wife of his son from adoption isn't it sick too yeah but she divorced him doesn't matter say, no 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 hold on hold on first of all she did not divorce him Muhammad he went to the house and he flirted with her don't you know that do you, well, do you have any like um, no I didn't know that like where did you guys did a hadith okay hold on let, 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 are you sure we have hadith I mean you know, and yes. an authentic one, maybe. Sure, sure, or... sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, you know, uh, the Quran even saying that. Okay, hold on, let's see. When the story said, chapter 33, verse number 37, when you say to the one, 
which uh, uh, supposedly Allah bless him uh, hold your wife for you but you hide what is in your what Allah bestowed on you okay what he bestowed on you that this is your woman take her the Quran saying that Muhammad was a hypocrite man saying to the man keep your wife while his heart is something else he won the women this is Quran now we go to the interpretation chapter 37 sorry 33 verse number 37 yeah and we go to keep 37. your wife to yourself and fear Allah yeah but he want her <laughs> hypocrisy I imagine I, I I I want the women but I say to the husband no come keep her man keep her hmm? okay now look at this and oh uh, I will show you we will go right away to the reference read with me carefully Muhammad I really I really respect you guys can can you uh, uh, deny that this this gentleman is a very I can't tell he's coming from a good Muslim, Muslim family I can't tell because usually people are very arrogant you show it to them in the front of them they deny they change the topic but look this guy is a decent guy not because he's agreeing with me because he's agreeing that this is what is written because this is the truth usually this is real to happen so I have a lot of respect for you my friend Muhammad even though maybe this is not your real name listen it says here وقال مقاتل زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينب بنت جحش من زيد who is the one who married زينب to زيد محمد okay. I want to take, take a note and then فمكثت عنده حين ثم أنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زينب قائمة كانت بيضاء جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش فهويها وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح فذكرتها لزيد ففطن زيد فقال يا رسول الله اذن لي في طلاقها <تصفيق> translate يا محمد I will leave the translation for you go ahead yeah he was at Zayd's house and he saw her and? Um, and what he said get up mm -hmm. and she was white good body mm -hmm. and all that stuff and he said and he and, and he yeah we have what how we i mean he liked her right yeah well uh he liked her yeah and then what he said uh, subhanallah mm -hmm. so, uh, woe to god who moves hearts mm -hmm. or, his heart move he's, he, but he's he's talking to who to a married woman and this married woman is married to his son. This is why he's allowed to be there when the husband is not there, correct? Yeah, correct. You know, you as a Muslim, you don't accept a strange man to go inside your house if you are not there. Unless maybe he's your brother or your father, correct? Correct. Okay. So Muhammad is taking advantage of being the father of this guy, getting inside the house when the man is not there. What he do? He flirt with his wife, with the wife of his son. And look, yeah, but but if you continue, like if you continue to read, mm. Zaid uh, told him, uh, no, 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 hold on, let me continue. Her. Muhammad, Muhammad, read. فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح. So what she, Zainab, she heard, which means Muhammad, he said that loud. When a man yeah. he say that loud, it means he's he is telling her, is flirting. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Like yeah, I might like a woman, but I don't say. I mean, let us say all of us, we commit sin. All of us, we are sinners. And I was okay. walking in the street and I saw a woman, maybe she is married. And like, wow, she is beautiful. But look, he did not even say she is beautiful. He said clearly that Allah, he made his heart flip. And he said that loud and she heard it. She mentioned what his father said to who? To Zaid. Until this moment, they do not want to divorce the wife. Look what it says. Fafatina Zaid. Did you see did you see the word Fafatina? Yeah. He got it. 
Zaid, he got it, Fatina. And then he went to, to, to the Prophet, he said, Ya Rasulullah, then leave Talaqiha fa inna fiha kibara. So he is trying to get rid of her. Obviously, Muhammad, he wants her. He knew he would kill him if he would not get. So he went there. Obviously, he was happy with her all this time. He never complained. Now, suddenly, Zaid is not good. Sorry, Zainab is, 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 is hurting him. No. He is trying to say, okay, you want her? I heard what you said to my wife. She is not good for me. Take her. Yeah. What a shame. Do you accept such a man to be your prophet, Muhammad? A man, you trust him, uh, you give him the key of your uh, your house, and he is he adopts you as a son. He announced, like everybody says, even the, 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 the hadith says, that the prophet of Allah, he screamed, he says, everybody from now on should know that Muhammad, the father of Zaid, and Zaid is the son of Muhammad. He announced yeah. it many times. So now he go to his house and he betray his own adopted son. Let us forget about being a son. What about a friend? Imagine a friend of yours come to your house and he do that to you. Yeah. Um, uh I think uh, I think Muhammad is time for you to leave Islam. I mean, there is no way a gentleman like you, smart like you, and I can tell coming from a good family, he will accept such a man to be his best example. This is what they told us, you know, in the Middle East. You are a Middle Eastern, I am Middle Eastern. Do you and night the Prophet was the perfect man, the most amazing man, blah, 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 you know, uh, uh, like amazing. Even even yeah, Aisha, yeah, they, 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 even Aisha, she they said say that. Quran. Aisha, she claimed that Muhammad ethic is Quran. This is ethic. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think, Muhammad? I invite you to leave Islam immediately. You are smarter than than this cult. Yeah, um, just. But if, if if it's like that, if it's like, if this is like true, if this is true, if because look, I just I want to say something. Go ahead. Because we all know that when you have a prophet, a prophet's whole life is based on delivering a message. Mm. And not marrying 13 women and flirting with other women. So if it's like that, if this is what happens right here, then I like uh, uh, there's no way this guy has a prophet. Thank you. I mean to that. Thank you. See, I can tell he is struggling to say it. You are struggling to make the word come up from your mouth, but this is the truth. If this is this, and this is this, and this is what it is, this is the Muslim books. The Muslims who they are proud about their prophet saying in their books that this is what the prophet did. So what about the one who is not proud about Muhammad, what they do? I am really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam, but I have a duty. I have a duty as a Christian to invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. I believe that you believe in God, correct? Still, yeah. Okay, and now you, uh, you agree that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. That means he's a fraud. So I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior right now, right here, and I will be happy to help you but, if you have any question. But but this but this is a bit confusing because like I don't know. I don't, it's it's a big risk. I don't know. My friend, the risk I'm is, like, where am I gonna go? What am listen, I? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna be like a Catholic? And if it was, no, 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 there's nothing called Catholic, Protestant. It is not. This, this, those are they're sick. They are not. This is not really what we follow. We follow Christ. We don't follow a church name. Those are names people create them. But what we follow is Christ and His teaching. And the teaching is very simple. You do not need to be Catholic. You do not need to be Protestant. Who told you? 
Now, you read the Bible, there's nothing it's called Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. This is not really. This is a division. It's, uh, most of it is about politics. Christ is our Lord, not the Pope, not a bishop, not a Christian prince, not a priest. We don't follow men. All men are corrupt. We follow only the Messiah. He is the only one we can trust. Okay. So when I invite you to, to believe in Jesus, I'm not asking you to believe in any church of those. You believe in Jesus, not on the church name. Those are the followers. Okay. They are not the God. We don't have a bishop is God. He, the Pope of the Catholic himself, he confess his sin every Sunday. He's a sinner too. And the Bible says that every every soul is commit sin, but there's only one person. He never did that. So okay. what do you think about accepting Jesus as your savior? Okay, I'm gonna need you just explain me one thing, only one thing in Christianity. All right. Just one thing real quick. All right. It's basically about the Trinity. We have always been told that like, okay, how can God be man and how can God die and Okay. This is, so the question is about the Trinity or about how God can die or which one? Yeah, the entire concept because like if you say like Jesus is God and he got crucified. Hmm. So like how can God die? All right. Or like Okay, you see, I will, I will go with you. How God can die? Who said that to you that God died? You see, Jesus, he said, before Abraham, I am. Before Abraham, I am. And then let me put the screen, the, the, the verse in the front of you. So, before Abraham, I am. So, what, what, the, what the Jews they killed is the flesh of Jesus. But Jesus exists previously to his birth from Mary. Okay. So they killed the flesh. This is why they said to them, you can destroy this flesh and I will build. You can destroy this temple. He's talking about the temple, the body. And I will rebuild it in three days about his resurrection. And why three? Just to confirm the Trinity. If you read with me carefully, Okay. You will see Jesus saying to them, before Abraham, I am, was I am. And then the Jews said to him, uh, do we not say uh, rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a, a demon? They think that this guy have a demon. What he's talking about? <laughs> How he before Abraham? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. I do not seek my own glory, not like Muhammad, you see. They, okay. There is one who seek and judges. And then J Jesus continues saying, the Jews answer him, now we know that you are a demon. Abraham is dead and the prophets. And you say, if anyone keeps my words, he shall never taste death. Okay. All people die. So what do you mean, whoever believe in me or listen to my words, he will not die? So they cut him wrong. They thought he's saying, if you believe in me, you will not die. But this is not the death he's talking about. The, 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 the death where that you will have an internal life, which means you will not retest death, which is the death of hell. You go to hell, you will never come back. Are you greater than the father, our father Abraham, who is dead? And the prophet who are dead? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I honor, I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father who honor me, of whom you say that he is your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if, and if, I, if I do not know him, you sh I shall be a liar like you. But you do not know him and keep his words. Your father mm -hmm. Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and I saw it and was glad. Jesus now claiming that he saw and he met with Abraham. The Jews, they said, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said, most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. 
and then they took okay. the stones to, to kill him. So Jesus confirmed, and you see here the word I am. Do you see the word I am? Each time okay. Jesus says I am, he is saying I am God because when, when Moses asked God, I'm going to tell my people what I will say to them. He says to tell them, I am who I am. This is the Bible never give really a name as it is as a name as you call him Allah. It is I am the one who exists by myself. I am. There's no name can describe me. There's no name can contain me. There's no language can tell about me. So tell them I am who I am. I'm your God. So before Abraham, I am. So when the Jews, they killed my friend, they killed the flesh, which is created by him. This is the only creation. They only took down the flesh. And then Jesus, he proved to them that does no grave can contain me. No death can take me. And he said in many places in the Bible, I lay down myself and nobody can take it from me. And this is why okay. the Bible says, for God, he loved the world, the whole world, including the Muslims, the Hindus, the Buddhas. Because he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son to save them. So the death of Jesus actually proven to us that Jesus is God, not the opposite. Because Jesus, first of all, he overcome the death, which proved to us that, yes, there is a resurrection. Even the Quran confirmed that Jesus, he resurrect people from death. And even he created from the mother bird. He breathed into it. So Jesus, he overcome death by death. He went to death and he showed us that by me, if you believe in me, look what I did. He will go. They kill me and back. You will have the same. This is why okay. he says, whoever believe in me, he will never die. He will never taste death. And the death he's talking about, death of hell. You, you, you go to eternity away from God. So Jesus here, when he speak about himself, he said, "My, if I witness to myself like Muslim, they witness to Muhammad, and Muhammad witnessed to himself that he's a prophet. But look what Jesus said. I don't witness by myself. My father, he witnessed for me. And how the father, he witnessed for Jesus in many places. When Jesus, he got baptized, a sound in the sky appear and says, this is my only begotten son. So the Lord, the, the, the father, he witnessed to Jesus. And about, I hope I answer you about Jesus being crucified. I don't know if this is convincing for you. No, okay, okay. You need more explanation? No, tell me, it's okay. Say it's yes or no. It's convincing or not? No, it's convincing. Okay, yeah. because you know, see, if you shoot me, no, you shoot me and I came back to, the, to, to life. So <laughs> you did nothing. You did not really kill me, right? Right. Let's say you shot me, you killed me, you crucified me, you cut my hands, and then I came back second day. So what? What happened? What is that? So the proof that Jesus is God actually the crucifixion. Because if he is not, you know, yeah, I, he should I not be coming back something. to life. He I, should be like me and I, you. When we die, we never come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, I want to say something. There is yeah. something, and it's something weird that I've never got a straight answer, actually, about Christianity. From one of my Muslim teachers, I asked them, they said, Allah put a guy in the image of Jesus to get crucified. But then I asked the question about, well, I guess then it's not the fault of Christians because who deceived them? Exactly. It's Allah. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, it's so weird, like, to get, you know, this entire idea was in my head that, like, okay, wait a second, who deceived them? Right. Then. Was it the Jews? The Jews didn't get a guy who looked like Jesus and they crucified him. It's actually Allah who did it. So Correct. how can you blame him? This is end, Quran, so chapter like... 4, verse 157. So not only that, actually, this verse confirmed that we Christians, we did not corrupt our Bible because we just wrote there what we saw. And that's me. we are honest. And the one who was dishonest is Allah, as you said, because he made us see someone in the cross, but it's not him. So what's, what's, what's my fault? If you are a judge, and you say, hey, Christian Prince, did you see this guy shooting this guy? I say, yes. And then after 600 years, we have a, a God says, oh, you saw him, but it was not really him. It was a clone. That's silly and stupid, correct? Yeah. And not only that, there's no witnesses. I mean, Muhammad, he came with no witnesses. The Muslim, they say, what the proof that Jesus was crucified? We have witnesses. Even the Quran confirmed that, that it made appear to them. So they witnessed the crucifixion of someone look exactly like Jesus. And now what is the choice of like having somebody to be executed, but he look exactly like him in this earth? Even his mother, she could not recognize him. His mother was there. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was there in front of the cross. 
So now I will answer you about the Trinity. Uh, Muhammad. Okay. Yep. When we say the word Almighty, what the word Almighty mean? It's just the Almighty, like he literally do, the Almighty. He can't do anything, right? Exactly. Okay. If the Almighty says, I, yeah. or I am God, exist as a three person, you are questioning how he can be Almighty or you are questioning how he can be three person? Huh. Because if you question him, how he can be uh, three person, but you just, he's almighty. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The reason he's called almighty is because he is almighty. So we we say, and we use our, our, sometimes we use our logic. We don't think deeply. This is the problem with all people I met with, even those who they are smart. We don't use really a deep thinking. When we are talking about almighty, and then we say, how the Almighty can be Almighty? But you just agreed he's Almighty. So if the Almighty says, I I am one, but yet a three person, well, because he can do it, because he's the Almighty. Same time, mm. when a Muslim, he refused to accept Jesus to be the Almighty God. So how he can do the Almighty work, including creation, including resurrection, including forgiving sin, including, as I just showed you, he says, before Abraham, I am. How the Muslim explained to us that Jesus will come back in the judgment day. This is almighty work. How how, how he is alive. Like, like now you ask me a question about how Jesus was killed. But shouldn't you ask yourself too, how come Jesus is only one is still alive and all the, all the Muslims are dead, including Muhammad? This is almighty. This is almighty act. This is not a normal act of a human being. Do we agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do agree, so yeah. Jesus proved to us, not by saying I am almighty, but by doing what almighty do. So what Jesus, you know, if we go in the Quran, we see that Jesus, mm -hmm. he breathed into the mud and he make it a living bird. Okay, how yeah. that happened? The Quran says this is the will of Allah by the by the permission of Allah. Well, this is this is uh, silly because I can say now that Jesus was able to do it by my permission. Prove me wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, talk is cheap, but what this verse confirmed to us that Jesus he did almighty work. Creation. Why yeah. God want to share the ability to create with someone? He's a man. Okay, Allah, he was trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet or Jesus is God. If the answer is, he's trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet, will he fail? Because if Jesus cannot create, if Jesus cannot do all those things, none of us Christians will believe that he's God. Do we agree, Muhammad? He's, he's, yeah, yeah, we agree. But like, there is no prophet that did the same thing, right? Not only the creation. You see, like, there's a story about... Yeah, uh, creating. There, right. there, there's no prophet who no prophet. has ever uh, done this. Absolutely, you're right. Not only that, like, there's a story about Abraham. Uh, uh, asking God for things, right? And then when God, yeah. he, he, uh, he told him to slaughter his son, and this is what our topic today, uh, uh, Allah yeah. himself, he sent a ransom. So the Muslim, they say to you, well, why God, he need to send a ransom to himself, I mean, he will sacrifice to himself or to who? I mean, Jesus sacrifice, correct? But when God he yeah. sent a ransom, he sent it to who? To himself in the Quran. Because the ransom to who? From who? Who is the one who request the death of Isaac? It was Allah. And who is the one yeah. who sent the sacrifice? It was Allah. So Allah is sacrificing to Allah. So the same reason the Muslim they say we cannot accept this idea that Jesus sacrificed himself to save us is in their Quran. Because Allah he ransom. And the ransom, it was not from earth, it was from heaven. And even the Quran call it a great sacrifice, Azim, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So the sacrifice have to be from the sky. Why? It have to be pure, holy. Here they say yeah. it's a ram. 
but the Quran describe it. This is the translation. The Quran already says it is the Puna Azim. So Allah don't want the sacrifice. sacrifice yeah, He don't want the sacrifice of Abraham. He sent his own sacrifice. So why the Muslim reject Jesus to be sending or to become as a sacrifice? The idea of Jesus being sacrificing is not like a Muslim to say uh, the Christian believe in a human sacrifice. No, we don't believe in that. First of all, we believe our Jesus, our Lord, he is our Lord, he is our God. He come in the flesh of a man. But he did not go and say, hey, kill me. And we Christian, we did not put him in the cross. He knew the future. He knew what they would do to him. Still, because he loved the world, still he will do it. He did not run away as Quran described. Allah took him to yeah. him. So no. this is about his knowledge, not about he. This is why you see Jesus, you know, is speaking in the Bible clearly that this is like this is a cup he don't like to drink, but let your will be done. So Jesus here proving to us again that he overcome death, and death does not affect him, and he came back to us. In the same time. When we speak about the almighty power and we ask ourselves why Allah according to Muslims he gave all those miracles to Jesus shouldn't we ask Allah did you try to convince us that he is a prophet or he is God because how Allah he shared the ability of a creation with a man his name is Jesus as long the Quran confirm that Jesus he created from the mud a figure of a bird and I breathe into it. Who is the one breathe? It's not like uh, Jesus, he made the figure of a bird, and then he says, Allah, hey, Allah, breathe into it. No. And I breathe into it. You speak Arabic very well. You do not need a translation. Yeah. Does it say here that... Uh, let us see the other verse. There's two verses. All right. Read with me carefully. وَرَسُولًا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي قَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ What he's saying? I create, I create from the mud a figure of a bird and I فَأَنْفُخُ فِيهِ and I breathe and it's going to be a bird by the will of Allah. Okay. By the will of Allah, this is the Muslims adding it. But what is confirmed that Jesus he make a figure. This is this is also weird because we have that uh, what Allah uh, did to Mary, he also anfakh, he also blew no, in her. Correct. He, he, so it's he, so he, weird that Jesus will blow, will blow in the in the in the clay and also god blows in that he's so no this is how this is how allah he created adam too yeah exactly he blew mm -hmm. in the, the like if 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 jesus wasn't god why couldn't he just i don't know like throw it in the air and it would fly and be created why does he have to do the same exact action as god how allah, unless yeah unless he's he god. unless he is the one who created adam so when I have fa fashioned him completely and breathe into him, who is the one who breathed Allah, supposedly? But we find that Jesus is doing the same as Allah. Yeah. So if Allah trying to convince me that Jesus is just a prophet, he failed. He gave him too much power. Let us say that those miracles are given this power given to Jesus. Not He even can tell you what you had in your house is correct. Does it say that? Read, read, read with me. It says, not only he healed the leper, he made the blind see. Uh, uh, he uh, not only that, he says, I and I inform you what you ate or what you eat and what you store in your houses. How you can do that? Is it the unseen? Muhammad in the Quran says, uh, uh, you know, I don't have uh, the, the knowledge of the unseen. How come Muhammad he have the no knowledge uh, of the unseen, but Jesus have the knowledge of unseen? What do you uh, think? Yeah, Muhammad is a prophet, and the Muslims not only they say he's a prophet, they say he is the greatest prophet. 
Yeah. So how Jesus he have the knowledge of the unseen? And Muhammad do not know mm -hmm. the knowledge of the unseen. Yeah. And the Quran confirmed that the one who knows the unseen is all is Allah. Allah is all knowing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Allah is all knowing. But as you see, that the one who have the knowledge of how how uh, he's just a man. I mean, how we, how this person, you go and you store something, you hide some money in your house, and Jesus will tell you that you hide this in your house. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So what do you think, my friend? Everything leads us to one thing, that Jesus, even in the cult of Islam, Jesus is nothing like him. He is the spirit of Allah, according to Muhammad. He is Kalimatullah, wa ruhahu, alqaha ila maryam. And not only that, actually, the same verse saying that he is the, the, the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah sent to Mary is the same word confirming the Trinity, but in the Islamic way. Yeah. Because there it says that Jesus is the word of God and Jesus is the spirit of God and Jesus is the messenger of God. When we Christians, we agree that Jesus, he came with a message. But he is the message himself. He is the word. And this is why it says in the book of John. In the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God or was the God. So Jesus is the word of God. The Quran says that. Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God. Well, this is what the Holy Spirit is about. This is why Jesus said, yeah. I will yeah. leave you. I will not. You will not be alone. Every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. I will be the third. How he can be that and he said I will send you that I will send you the comforter which means he will not leave us alone we will be always having the Holy Spirit with us so the word the spirit and the man that is Jesus Muhammad here is copying the Bible but this is a wrong Trinity this is wrong Trinity we don't believe in the Trinity of Islam but believe that Jesus was the Word of God yes but the Word of God is God himself Yeah, yeah, you're right. And how Jesus yeah. can be spread proceeding from him? I mean, isn't it Adam created by God and that's it? Mm -hmm. Jesus, why Jesus is not son of Adam? Yeah, why well, he did he didn't say that like Adam is the spirit of God? And why like, he Muhammad, is why is it only Jesus? And why just only like in the Bible from, from all mankind, there's only one person. He is not the son of Adam. That doesn't make sense. So who's his father? The Quran says that the father of Jesus is God. Because who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? God. It's not like a man and the women having sex together and they have a son. No. Like in the case of Abraham, God they gave a gift to Abraham. He gave him Isaac. But Isaac is a son of Abraham, not the son of God. Abraham was sleeping with his wife. But because she is old, she cannot conceive. So God, he made a miracle. He made her able to conceive from Abraham, not from God. But in the case of Mary, Mary, she been never been touched by a man. So why all of these things about yeah, Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Jesus? Yeah, I understand. So what do you think, my friend? Uh, I think, I guess you're right. Do you accept Christ as your savior? Uh, yes, I accept Christ. I mean to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that, my friend. I'm really happy for you. Uh, I'm really, really, you made my day. You made really my day. Uh, since three days ago until now, I did not have one convert. And this is not a good news for me because always I have people leaving Islam, calling me in Skype and talking to me. So I'm really grateful for the Lord to send you to me today. So we have this beautiful conversation. And I am grateful that you 
uh, 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 you accepted the right way to be saved everybody is happy for you imagine the Lord is amazing you call me today to correct me correct correct you call me yeah. to prove me wrong and the Lord he did his work it's not a Christian Prince who did it to you it's the Lord he opened your eyes the Lord he guided you and praise be to the Lord because he is from now on is going to be your guidance and my friend I advise you from now to read the four Gospels John Mark Luke all the four and if you have any question I will be happy you can call me anytime usually okay. usually I accept only calls from Muslims but I will give you an exception in case you have a question so I can help you to strengthen your faith and you can even in the text if you don't like the call I will be happy uh, to answer you because the devil now will, will try to attack you for you became a tree who is holding the fruits you see when the tree hold the fruits everybody throw rocks at it nobody throw rocks at an empty tree today you became a tree full of fruits and the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them and since you call me I told everybody and you are my witness I said this guy is different this guy is different he's decent and your decency not me made you be saved it's your decency the Lord he have a decency inside you and your decency today is the winner it's not a Christian press it's you who is the winner yeah I want You're all right. the Christians today to pray to our brother Muhammad here and now I was calling you my friend now I want to call you my brother in Christ and do you like to say anything people there look look at them they are so happy uh, I'm I'm honestly just speechless I mean like I was deceived for so long like I tried everything to do for the past like eight years I've been trying to defend Islam as much as I can as hard as I can and like everyone has a different opinion even the holy book, the Quran, has different interpretations. This scholar says this, this scholar says that, this scholar says this, and this guy disagrees with all of them. And if you don't believe this, you're an infidel. And no, this is wrong, this is right. I mean, it's just, there is no way this can be the word of God if you have everyone telling you, you know, this is... He's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. I just... So... You know, in the past, in the past week, I've had some doubts about Islam, and I... I used to look at the sky, and I just... And I, I swear to you, I'm not even lying. I used to look at the sky, and I used to say, like... If you're there, just guide me. Please, I don't even know what's right from wrong anymore. Just guide me. And I think he did. Thank you that. I believe you, my friend. You've been guided. You've been guided, and now you have, you are a different person. And now you will see that after you've been guided, you will be a person who help others to be guided too. So from now on, you will be an ambassador to Christ. Remember, you are not a Muslim no more. You just said, I swear, don't swear. Jesus said either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay, which means yes or no. Uh, and I'll explain that to you in a very simple way. You see, okay. when we, uh, uh, like in traditionally, I, I understand, like in uh, you, I was coming from the Middle East, I'm coming from the Middle East. And there, in order to make somebody believe us, we swear, right? We say, I swear, correct? Yeah, correct. Because why? The, the usual behavior of us, we lie from time to time. So to confirm that I'm being honest, now I swear. Look what Jesus said. Don't swear. Yay, yay, or nay, nay. Why? Because you should be always honest. Not only when you swear. You know what I mean? So yeah. you swear or you don't swear, you should have to be always honest, and this is the teaching of Christ. So from now on, we do not need to swear. The name of the Lord is not to be used in vain. We respect the name of the Lord. We respect His glory. We respect His Almighty. We will not use His name for little things and or even big things. So I say the truth people believe it or not this is their business I will not swear so slowly slowly I understand you are still you just let Islam but slowly slowly you will see how Christ 
will change you. You will be a different person. You will be a person, new person with your family, with your wife, with your children, with your parents. And let me tell you something. Now, yes, you are a Christian, but we are not the same as Islam. You have to love your family, even they are Muslims. You have to love your neighbor, even if he's a Muslim. You have to love all the Muslims, even though they might throw rocks at you. Even though they consider you an apostate and the punishment is death. That is a Christianity, my friend. With the Christ we live, with Muhammad we die. And this is life. Life is to be happy, and happy will never enter your heart as long as you have hate. The second hate into your heart, it's the same time, the same second, your heart is dead. Maybe your flesh is running and the blood is going through, but you are dead. So today you are alive. And the living Lord is all over your blood. Because he brought love to your life. So from now on, we love everybody. We forget about Islam, the kuffar and the infidels, and etc. And this and this is all is gone. This is all is history. The Lord He loves you, and because He loves you, you are going to love everybody around you. That let the light of Christ shine in your face. And it doesn't matter how what the color of your face. You are black, you are white, you are Asian. The Lord is our Lord, all of us, and we are equal in front of him. He and she, white and black, Asian or whatever, we are all the children of Adam, and we are all the children of God. Equally loved by him, equally he wants to survive us, to save us, and this is why the Bible says, for he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Happy for you, Muhammad. Yeah, well, like, thank you. Like, really just, I was in complete denial, just, but I think now I found the right path. I'm sure you did. Anything else you want to say, Muhammad, before, uh, you know, I, I can tell you are emotional. I don't want to hold you for long. You want to say anything else before you go? No. All Just... right. So what we should call, call you now? Should call you? We give you a Christian name. <laughs> what we should call you, Peter? <laughs> Dante, I guess. <laughs> no problem. Doesn't matter. You can call yourself. Actually, if your name is Muhammad, keep it Muhammad. That will be. Even more amazing that Muhammad the glorifying Jesus. That would be beautiful, my friend. You don't need to change your name. I'm just joking. Thank you. Thank you, my friend Muhammad, for calling me. And I'm glad to have you as, uh, as a caller. And uh, the Lord, the, the Bible says, a happiness in the, in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved. So now we have a happiness there. Imagine how much the Lord, he loves you. We are small, maybe smaller than a mosquito for him. But yet he loved us to the point he said, a happiness in his kingdom will be for one soul is saved. Thank you and God bless you, my friend. Take care. God bless you. Thank you.